guys and welcome back to another what's for dinner the first meal that we're gonna be making is a creamy cheesy chicken spaghetti this is one of our favorites to have and I haven't made this in a very long time all you'll need is some shredded cheese I'm gonna use Colby and Monterey Jack you also will need half of a jar of salsa you can use the whole jar if you like and one can of cream of chicken and then here I have a 24 ounce tub of sour cream but I'm only gonna use half of it and also a box of thin spaghetti and then you'll also need two chicken breasts cooked and shredded so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my spaghetti to boiling. And while that's boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up everything. I'm just gonna dump the chicken in and you're just gonna mix all of the ingredients. I'm using a whole can of cream of chicken and then about two to three tablespoons of sour cream, half of the jar of salsa and a good handful of cheese. And then you just wanna give it a good stir. And then once your pasta is done, you just want to drain it and then pour it into a casserole dish. And then I'm going to take the chicken mixture and toss that in. And then once you have it all tossed together, you can just top it with as much cheese as you like. And we're gonna bake it on 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. And this is how it came out, and we just served it with salad. Okay, meal number two is a homemade chicken pot pie. This one was super easy. So you're gonna need one can of cream of chicken, sour cream, and then you'll also need one chicken breast cooked and shredded. And then half of a bag of peas and carrots. This is the 12 ounce bag. And like I said, we're just gonna use half and then the ready to bake pie crust from Walmart. So I'm gonna start by putting one layer of crust in the bottom. And then I'm just gonna mix up all of my ingredients. I'm just gonna throw in the chicken, the cream of chicken, and the sour cream. And then I'll also toss in the veggies. I'm also gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. And that is pretty much it. You'll just give it a good stir and put that into the pie crust. Then I just took and topped it with the other pie crust that was in the box. I'm not really an artist when it comes to making my crust, so I just did the best I could. And then I decided to also put an egg wash on top. And there you have it, that's how it came out. Like I said, it was super easy and it was really good. Okay, and then for the next meal, I'm gonna make a cracked out chicken tater tot casserole. This is always a favorite in our house. It's so easy to make. you'll need is one to two chicken breasts cooked and cubed then you'll also need 16 ounces of sour cream one can of cream of chicken two tablespoons of ranch or one packet if you have that and then you'll also need some bacon bits and some cheddar cheese as well as some tater tots and this is the 12 ounce bag so after you have your chicken cooked and cubed you'll go ahead and start mixing all of your ingredients in with it you're gonna go ahead and put in the whole can of cream of chicken and then like I said, the full 16 ounces of sour cream. And then for the bacon bits and the cheese, I basically just eyeballed it. There is a recipe you can follow. I will link down below, but like I said, I just eyeballed that. And then two tablespoons of ranch seasoning mix or one packet if you have that. 
And then once you have everything mixed together, you'll go ahead and put that into a casserole dish. And the recipe says that you need to toss in the tater tots with the mixture before you put it into the dish, but I skipped that and I just put them on top and it turned out just as good and it saved time. Gonna bake it in the oven on 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes until the tater tots are golden brown and this is what it'll look like once it's all done this one is definitely a big hit in our house And then next up, we're gonna make some tuna melts. This is a meal that I make when I'm in a pinch for time. All you need for this is some mayonnaise, some pepper, some tuna. About half of a can makes one sandwich, and since I'm making four sandwiches, I have two cans. You'll also need some bread, and then some pepper jack cheese, or whatever cheese you like, and some butter. So I'm gonna start by opening up the cans of tuna and go ahead and drain those and make sure all of the liquid's off. So after I have the tuna drained, I'm gonna start by putting some mayonnaise on my bread. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put the tuna on. And like I said, I use half a can for one sandwich. So you can get two sandwiches out of one can. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle the mayonnaise with some pepper and put some pepper jack cheese on there and then just grill it up like a grilled cheese. And that is all there is to it. And then once it's done, I'll put some lettuce on it and there you have it. Then the very last meal is this bacon wrapped garlic chicken. This stuff was so delicious and so easy to make. You'll just need some salt and pepper, some minced garlic, some light brown sugar, one pack of bacon, and about two to three chicken breasts. So I started by filleting my chicken breasts and then I cut them in half just to make the chicken go a little bit further. And then you're gonna mix all of your ingredients together. And like I said, it's two third cups of brown sugar, three tablespoons of minced garlic, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And you're just gonna give it a stir. Okay, and then once it's all mixed, you're just gonna take and coat your chicken in it. And then you're just gonna take your bacon and start wrapping your chicken breast. I did about two to three slices per piece of chicken, just depending on how big the pieces were. And then you're just gonna put it in the oven on 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes. And I did have to drain mine about midway just because it was getting a little bit too juicy in the pan and I wanted the bacon to crisp up a little bit. This was the finished product. We had some yams and green beans on the side and it was really good and really easy. That is it for this week's What's For Dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.